To work on the blast furnace, in the heat and the dust and the flying sparks of molten iron that can sear through a man in a second, is an experience not many men would want. In conditions that make a car production line look like an operating theatre in a hospital, men sweat and curse. And because they do, they drink by courtesy of the management, the state-owned British Steel. But seeing how they work, 
What taxpayer would begrudge these not overpaid men of British industry a free pint at the end of a shift? I was on the next furnace, and he furnace it was, they'd cast it. And when they come back, brought the furnace back, they found out they got a hole in the bottom. So after they teamed the ladle full of steel of 60 tons, they brought the remainder back under the furnace to drain into the furnace again. Well, the leading man went on to clean the tap hole out, what they used to call the tap hole, what we cast it through. But while he was cleaning it out, all of a sudden the launder broke. He went into the ladle, and there was about three foot of slag in the ladle. He come up the stopper, burnt all the flesh off his hands, all of a sudden he dropped down the back of the ladle. When the ladle went away, they thought he was inside the ladle, burned to death. But instead of that, he was at the back in a pile of dust. Now that man had that happen twice. That you would Sudlow, yes. Sudlow, yes. And he lived, he lived up till he was 86, that man did. Sudlow, I remember this. Until recently, Bilston has been an extremely profitable plant. Between 1973 and 1977, it made a total of about 18 million pounds, despite the difficult economic situation. But during this time, BSC as a whole only made profits in two years, 1973 and 1974. The Bilston plant started to lose money after October 1977, which coincided with the mothballing of its blast furnace called Elizabeth. The British Steel Corporation made the decision to close the furnace. They have a problem of producing too much iron, a basic ingredient used for the manufacture of steel. BSC claimed that the Bilston blast furnace was helping to make the situation worse. But the move has been a body blow for Bilston. Elizabeth used to make high quality molten iron. The new iron brought in from outside is of a different quality and has to be heated up. This makes the whole steel making process more expensive and it's claimed has pushed the plant into the red. I've got two young sons uh, due to leave school soon and I'm not only thinking of my own future, I'm thinking of their future as well. That's 2,700 less job opportunities in the district. We believe that Bilston has got a case for the retention of iron and steel making. We've proved it over the years in profitability. Well, if we'd have thought that we got a bow to the inevitable, then we should have bowed long ago to the inevitable. No, we've never believed this. We've fought. There has been just the isolated cases who felt that we should probably lose in the end and got dispirited. But personally, I've never got dispir dispirited. We fought and we intend to fight. If I want to get another job, I've very likely got to go out of the district to get another job. And I don't want to do that. I want to stay in the district if I can. All I hope is that the, our executive this afternoon give BSC hell. They have given us hell here the last 18 months. I'd like to see, I'd like to see a national strike on, on our behalf. Got a lot of feeling for it. Now, what do you mean? How can you have a lot of feeling for a, a blast furnace? Well, I've got a lot of worry over it, and uh, the worry is not going right. It's, uh, I dare say there's times when I worry more about it than my own family. You treat her better than your wife, Slater? No, I, well, there's, there's times I put her in front of my wife, and we all have, everyone here, everyone on the, on the ground, on the black paint end, have come to work and they've been taking their wife there, you know, for years. Elizabeth consistently ranks high in the blast furnace league tables, proving to the other 52 furnaces in the United Kingdom that she can produce the goods. And that's against furnaces that can tap out her full week's capacity in just one day. The last of the black country furnacemen may well wonder about their future because they know that their Elizabeth, like them, can't go on forever. But I don't know what we'd do if, we went, if anything could happen to her and we were left without her. I'm afraid there'd be a lot of broken hearts down the, down the black thing. thing. But perhaps, not just yet anyway, nothing will happen to Elizabeth. It will be a sad day when it does. Not just for the men who have grown to love her, but to Bilston Town itself and those great iron-making traditions of the black country.